What's up? It's been a while. It's a couple weeks. I haven't posted much. Um, I apologize. I have been very busy. I just want to show everyone what's happening here on the farm. Springtime. It is um, early February. It's a tropic beauty. Peach. She's got some flowers. Um, going through a heavy pruning building year this year. I'll probably do a, a, some more pruning actually. Um, Oliver Loquat here has set some fruit. Uh, so we'll get to taste these. I haven't tasted Oliver yet. This one here is Christmas. And this one did not hold fruit yet. Um, the other one that I have in the back has fruit on it. This is champagne. Looks like the squirrels helped themselves to all the fruits that were on there. So, on the bone. Uh, it's a chestnut that may or may not be thriving in this area. Um, so far, it has not. It's alive. You can see, we see a little bit of green there. You can see it's alive, but. I have not seen a lot of that chestnut. Not that's Dunstan chestnut, and it has just maybe I need to take way better care of it, which is kind of my hope was that I wouldn't have to in planting that. This is a Hychia persimmon getting ready to pop open. I should see some fruits this year. These buds are getting ready to bust open. Uh, winter Mexican avocado over there has some flowers breaking out. This is my big old Prince Peach that might be my last year or this one I may take it out start over with some others we've got Brogdon here this is my my pride and joy avocado right here she's about to put on a lot of flowers only been in the ground like two and a half year three years and just put on a ton of growth fruited good last year here is uh, Supas or ooh la la starting with its spring growth Hopefully no flowers. She might flower, but we'll take those off. I'm going to put a good season of growth on that. This is yellow hog plum. I think I'm going to pluck this out of here. It gets frozen every year. This year it managed to not get frozen down. We didn't get a freeze, but it gets frozen every year. It's just too exposed. So I'll tuck that away in the back. Here's that Zill Dark Suriname Cherry or Patanga. They're both flowering real good. We'll probably get a good fruit set on those. We got the June plum over here, completely leaf naked, but got fruit all over and dropping fruit on the ground. Um, over here we have lemon zest mango. She has been flowering here for a couple weeks. This is the first, first flower. This is the first time this tree has flowered. I've had it here a couple years, getting her comfortable and so we're finally starting to see some flowers. Pretty excited for that. Nice Barbados cherry. Looking happy. Um, just planted this uh, butterscotch sapodilla. This is a relatively protected area. They seem to do well. There's a longan and a uh, jamun plum over there. I got like six cold sensitives right here. Um, here's a Yehuda loquat that has done really well for us. Oh, look at that. That's a cheese vine. I thought this thing had died off. That's called the cheese vine. Pretty sure that's what that is. Yep, smells like funky cheese. I thought it had died. I guess it, it wandered its way over here and, and grew. Neat. I like when things survive on their own. So here's Yehuda. Yehuda set a good bunch of fruit. I had to tie this one down because it's upward growth habit. Like real bad the strings are still laying there on the ground this thing was just like straight up in the air so I tied it down we'll get fruit and I'll probably cut them back to here and uh, really start to build a nice canopy it's always setting these baby suckers in here so we're just trying to build a nice little tree on this one Let's see what else is happening oh the scarlet beauty plum back here let's go over there that thing is blowing up with flowers scarlet beauty right here just filled up with flowers. Super cool. This is going to be a good crop. Looks great fruit. Here's a little jujube. A buddy of mine brought me these trees, and one of them had snapped a big branch off the top in transit. And I didn't want to lose it all. So I came in here and I veneer grafted one limb. That was that piece right there. I veneer grafted that one, so that one has grown out really nicely. Nice big branches. 
this one I cleft grafted right there, a little piece there, and then that was just a just a little stick, about like that. And then over here also cleft grafted right there, and that one came up to right there. And now we've got all this new growth. So I've got myself a nice Tai GGB. And so far seems to be cold hardy, drought tolerant, all kinds of good things about that one. I'm happy about that tree. Now there is one really neat one I wanted to look at over here. I had cut some pieces off of a peach tree one day and I was walking along with them and I happened to have my grafting tape around my neck. So this is a plum. This is Scarlet Beauty, white flowers. And then down here, I came in and I grafted right here, this little piece of peach and we got flowers. So this year I'm probably gonna finally get my first cocktail uh, stone fruit tree, plum and peach. And I'm gonna go get a piece of my nectarine and I'm gonna put that on here too. And I'll have all three of them. Those are my three best producers of stone fruits. So gonna, I'm gonna work on getting this tape peeled off, but you see that graft took and did really well. It's a, it's a good union right there. So pretty neat. Oh, I think I just found ants. I did. They're biting me. So I just thought I'd give you a quick update. I saw some neat things up here in the front of the nursery that I was excited about. My Potomba is looking really good. I think this is a really, really underrated fruit. Um, quality of the fruit is really good. It's cold hardiness. It's showing to be really strong. He's been in the ground a good couple of years now and um, really kicking it doing really good and the fruit is great like I really really enjoy this fruit so um, Potomba highly recommend I've got a couple of trees around here that I could share with y'all um, I will I will grow more and I will acquire some bigger ones I know a little hole there might be some so I just want to give a quick update check in with YouTube haven't been on here in a little bit so later y'all